that's still a good win for SSG, despite not getting the actual win of the round. I love this unchained SSG that we're seeing that's going, okay, hey, look, we got our chicken dinner. Now let's just go ahead and punish everyone else to where they can't get chicken dinners, and then we'll just be the beneficiary because we'll just have all the kills, and it's paying off yeah. for them. They're doing a great job of realizing the targets that they need to go after, prioritizing them, and seeing the capabilities on where free kills exist in. Sharpshot was the original Clutch King before Mime came into existence, and he is showing that he still has it. This man has been constantly like you can't get you can't remove Sharpshot from this scene. There's it's a reason always, why there's a 4K after his name. Exactly. There's there's always something to bring him back and an opportunity for him to remind us that after all these years he's still a great player. Hey, it didn't go north cam. It's, I am astounded. But they've now moved towards the south, dealing damage to Synergy who are trying to come in from to, to wherever they can find. This is important, but the north is where everything is going on. We've got E United, TSM, all starting to condense down where we see BTN. Systematicos is holding position. Troglodytes is trying to make a little bit of a run over. Adapt and Dignitas are all going to be having to move. There is the harassment of Synergy that's trying to run up this hillside. But you can see they've already lost one of their members. While this is going on, it's all of these teams that are the moving factors trying to make these plays. We might see them opt into it as I think that Sparking is going to commit along that angle to see if he can get a rest. Duma, though, is trying to navigate what's going on, does bypass what's going on with, uh, uh, it's, I believe it's going to be SSG that's holding the point, and going to land right up in front of where Troglodytes is trying to hold out, but coming up back behind them is going to be 300, and there's just too many targets. There's just a plethora of people coming up around where we can see SSG holding on to, and they're trying to make sure that they focus their fire, but it's just too much to try to make sure they can get out of. They do manage to take down Vox at least. SSG in a position to collect a bunch of kills, and right now, that's a great position to be in, because as long as they stay above the Sonics on the leaderboard, they're going to have a very successful week. Young Kings now fighting up against Gas Cans. Both teams needed to make their way into the circle. On the, ha on the slope of the cliff itself, terrain, not the best, but Gas Cans are sending it down. They're going to be caught between the Sonics and the Young Kings once Flux peeks over this ridge. I think there's a touch of a hillside that they can play. I think that's where they're trying to make their gamble off of it. Instead, committing, trying to see if maybe they can cross over, because this is a very strong hillside if they can make it into it and get at least deny some of the vision as it goes. Dignitas, though, you can see having a lot of trouble as we are having Systematicos and BT start a little bit of a breakout of their own. That's outside of this circle, all things considered. So it looks like this is just a commitment of trying to pick up kills as they go. You have one member trying to fend up right now as BT is aware of the fact that they do have a ton of Systematicos players in this point. TSM trying to make a push of their own. They're getting harassed in range. Black Tiger is going to get eliminated while this is going on. Systematicos now know have to compete up against Dignitas, who is watching this, holding down this point, and is wanting to make sure that they pick up kills off of whoever comes out of this. Young Kings is still trying to make their fight across from this. Realize the fact that they've got a Dapt right next to him, and Flux is the last one up and has to be so cautious. But these last couple of feet trying to make it in the circle are going to be such a problem as Adapt is too close. A lot of spray comes in. Fair bit of damage, but he's able to knock Richie B, and that's about it. Smoke's come out, but he's running from the blue as well as from Adapt. Gets a nice angle onto Retaliative, so that's two kills confirmed against them. Only one for Young Kings. Keenan stole the other. But nonetheless, it's still at least a little bit of an opening to get inside the circle. Up to the north, while well, you can see the kill feed starting to light up a little bit. Flux trying to make a play, but there's just so many targets around him at the time. He can line up this grenade if he can connect it in. Oh, he could have gotten a big play out of it, but instead, it's going to be a return throw. Flux has to play this one very, very cautiously. But it looks like he might lean into a touch of a peak while this is going on. Nobody really getting involved in what is this contained fight. Problem with it is, this shack isn't even in the safe zone. So while this fight is happening, it's just SSG that's harassing yeah. from a nice spot. And there's not a lot that could be done by either one of these teams. Looking down from their ivory tower, sharp shot throwing a couple of grenades. And now Flux put his attention towards that direction, allowing Adapt to get the revive. But as you mentioned, they're still going to have to move, even with the circle coming in their direction slightly. It's only a little bit of a nod. But here, center of the circle, E United versus Fiumba, trying to find some foothold, but we have the gas can spraying in from outside the zone, up the hill. 
Not a lot of action to be breaking out. It's just Oath just trying to make sure that they harass. They know that they're going to have to make their approach. Flux still trying to survive in what is an absolutely deadly situation. He's at least wanting to go down, taking whoever he can around him, trying to pick up whatever kill points he's got. Sitting on two right now, tries to go for a play at the exact same moment. A pick comes out, and both teams get eliminated, trying to eliminate each other as the circle is now set, and it's going to be 300 TSM and Oath all having to make a move into it. Fumba and United, you can see how dangerous this cliffside is because they're trying to go for center, but neither of them have a, a defensive point. Both have been incredibly wounded here. In fact, Fumba not, might not even be able to get that revive, but now it's 300 trying to roll in and all in the back of their truck. Yippee deep south Louisiana style, except the SSG again holding down their position. They are not letting a single individual approach, but gas cans approaching E United. Valiant goes down, but that's going to be them taken out by Corsac with the final shots. Corsac doing a good job of holding down the center point, but it comes at cost of teammates. All by his lonesome now. He's hoping that these independent fights are going to break out as SSG does get vision on what's going on with 300. Trying to make sure they can line up. Old has got Extreme right next to him. Does spot out. There you go. 300 goes out, and it's starting to calm down with seven teams alive at this stage in Circle 5. It's just a matter of patience right now as everybody is really hoping it's going to go north except for Sonics. All the other teams getting separation out. A lot of strong teams still remaining. Circle stays pretty centered, which is great for our solos that are really close to each other, all considered right now, as you can see, doing a little bit of a dance around us. Now there is just one. Corsax managed to finish that one out and get control over the point. You see Roth here really close to the Sonics, but he has a plateau to work with, which means that he's just there feeding information, making sure that he can get every single line of sight. Kill Demo confirms Relo. Oath are really struggling to get make those last few feet into the circle without getting wounded, and I think they might be able to make it, but they're going to be pinned in again from the high ground that SSG have been holding on to this entire time, and TSM as well overlooking their position. Kill Demo Michael finally Demo. goes down. One more team to get removed or Tiggleton. So Tiggleton looks like he's just going to go ahead and opt in to ascend it. Pray that he can manage to make it. That car's got near on nothing to work with. He's going to go down. So with this, the other members for SSG do manage to get into position at least. So it was a valid sacrifice. Because the circle hard shifted away from that. We now see where the center of the circle is going to be. And they need to push through, but they're being picked apart by Oath. And that is exactly it. Oath has a great angle now. They can continue to use this low ground, reposition around, and while SSG can manage to make it into a couple of different positions around it, and then take over towards the end. But every single team, even Corsac remaining in this game, has the ability to pop off. Ooh, shot comes through. Not gonna find, but it at least gives the location away. Now the grenade's gonna follow up. TSM or shove into a corner. The bounce, the bounce is not working out, but the, the Molotov, that might do it. TSM. Oh, that looks good. TSM has to try to move out from this point in Space Station Gaming, has that high ground advantage. Pinta just narrowly navigates it, but leans back at the wrong angle, and he's going to go down. SSG had to make the commitment into TSM, and while that was going on, Sonic's tried to creep in just a little bit more. Smoke wall now down for Oath, trying to navigate through to get to that strong cover that they wanted to get to beforehand, hoping that TSM is going to provide the distraction, and they do. So now Oath has a much stronger foothold to try to play from as they have some cover that they can make multiple peaks from, and SSG is now starting to find themselves in a very bad spot, as they're going to have to move down this cliff facing into very obvious maneuver points. Yeah, that was always the weakness from that high ground. You got to drop down. Roth is going first. Doesn't take too much damage. And the knock that Keenan got against Belfrost means Corsac. that the covering fire from Oath isn't going to be as strong. They all make it down, but are they aware of Corsac? He is holding the angle. He is ready with the barrel in hand. 40 bullets in the magazine. Just patiently waiting. And here's what's going on right now, seeing if anybody's going to extend forward off of it. Very hesitant on the fact that anybody could be stepping up back behind them. Corsac now knows the fact that he's got a close target. Gets right up into the face of it. Looks in the other direction. Tries to go for it. And Corsac coming up big. Trying to survive. Doesn't see the opposite angle, though. Does go down. But with this now, Sonics floods in from the other angle. SSG has near on no time to make anything happen. Oath using that hillside that they ran to just a moment ago. Now starting to throw out a ton of utility to try to stop anything that's going on. And Sonics pumps the brakes, realizing the fact that they're too vulnerable and doesn't want to commit just quite yet. Yeah, they can't roll over that hill on onto SSG to confirm them because Oath is going to be starting to shoot them in the back. But either way, Oath are now in the lead in positioning here. They can just hold on to center, hold the crossfire, wait for these two teams to fight it out. Shrimsy with the shots, but Stakos get the knock. Mime is there on top of Keenan. And there's so much smoke in play. 
I like the way that we're trying to see Sonics navigate what's going on. SSG finally removed, but it's just two members from Sonics. We've got Mime, who's known for the clutch capabilities that he's got in Hambino. The fill coming in, he already goes down, and now it's all onto Mime. Looking at three members of Oath who are wanting to stack up and do manage to pick up nine kills and their fourth chicken dinner. Great performance coming out from Oath as they had to fight tooth and nail to get to that point where they finally won it.